Hello, Jason here from Septic Tank UK. And in today's video, I'm going to show, show you something very important. If you're a septic tank owner, then this video will show you how to sell a house if you own a septic tank. So why is that important? Why am I doing this video? And if you're a septic tank owner and you've owned a septic tank for the, what, the last 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, maybe you've never had any problems. Maybe um, you feel that this video doesn't apply to you. It's not applicable to you. Well, the reason I've done this is because I want to show you about all the new changes that have just come into force. The upshot being, you won't be able to sell your house unless you comply with these new septic tank laws. All right, so let me get straight into this for you, right? Or uh, basically, not so long ago, all the laws changed. The government changed all the laws regarding septic tanks. These are some of the biggest changes, man alive, this country's seen in the last whew, two, three hundred years. Now, on the 1st of January 2020, that's when all these new rules and regulations changed. And with those changes, if you own a house with a septic tank, septic tank owners must now meet certain conditions. So, <clears throat> what's happened in it basically is this, right? The, count, the government has transferred all the power to do with septic tank legislation to local councils now. So the power has been transferred to local council. So that would be like your um, building permissions, your, 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 your building control office, etc. All right. And so they've brought out something called the, um, the general binding rules. Now, these general binding rules basically come under now, right, something called retro, retro, Perspective planning approval. And basically, what that means is this, right? That local councils now will visit every, in, their, in each county, will visit every single septic tank owner up and down and across the UK. And each council now has designated or employees, right, site inspectors, right? And so those site inspectors now have to carry out these government site inspections, right? And so, as I said, they're going to visit, uh, visit, oops, sorry about that, visit septic tank owners across the UK. So that's why this video I'm doing is really important because if you own a septic tank, even though you know, you've never heard about these rules or regulations before, maybe you've heard about them but you feel they don't apply to you, nevertheless, they will crop up, right? They'll slap you across the face when you come to sell your house, right? Most people are oblivious of these rules and regs until they come to sell their house. This is why I've made this video. Now, basically, they will send a government site inspector round to your property. Now, when they come to your property, they're going to ask you loads of questions. They've got a set formula, a sheet, and they'll come in, you'll make them a cup of tea, you'll sit them down, hoping to woo them and be polite to them, but they've come with one mission, right? They've come with a mission of determining the state and condition of your septic tank. And so they're going to ask you loads of different questions. They're going to ask you things like, what's the age of your septic tank, right? What, what's it made from? So what are the materials, right, it's made from? What's the condition of it? What's the capacity of it? etc etc now i'm going to go a little bit deeper into that in a minute but the point being is once they've asked you those questions right it's going to lead to two outcomes right you'll either get they'll either pass your septic tank oh it's really hard right it's really hard 
<laughs> it's really hard to speak and write. Well, I find it hard anyway. So your septic tank will either get a pass or it will fail. Now, if it fails, you won't be able to sell your house, right, until it's passed, right? And so that's why this is important, because if it fails, you cannot sell your house. So if your septic tank fails, you won't be able to sell your house. And what's even more alarming is that uh, recent reports have shown that 90% of septic tanks inspected will fail. Why? Because of this thing here called retrospective planning approval. Now that may not sound much to you. It just may sound like red tape. But basically what it means is this. If your septic tank was put in before 2015, right, and it hasn't got a new government certification called an EN12566, right, certification, you will fail. <laughs> That's where the 90%, you know, probability or chance comes in. But as I said, there's some good news here, right? I've made this video because I want to show you how to sell your house if you've got an old septic tank, right? Regardless, right, of... Um, of, of all these rules and regulations, I'm going to show you how to get past and get around the government site inspectors when they visit you. Have a look at this. Okay, so there's only one way to get past and get around the government septic tank inspectors when they visit you, and they will, right? What you need is a government compliance form. Now, I'm going to show you what that form is in a second, but the point being is, right, the government site inspections, when they come round, they've got a set of questions which they will ask you, all right? Now, it's not only the government inspectors who are going to ask you these questions, but also, right, the solicitor representing the people buying your property will also ask you these questions, right? So, solicitor, there you go, solicitor, right? So, that is where... Oh, put the pens down. That is where this comes in. This is a government compliance form, and this form will head the solicitors and the government septic tank inspectors off at the pass, right? So let me show you what this is, right? This is the actual list of questions that you will get asked, okay? So let's just go through these, right? So let me give you an example. All right, so question number one, right? So they'll knock on your door, you'll invite them in, they'll come and sit down, and then they'll go through this questionnaire with you, right? So question number one, the sewage system you've got it, you're installed at your property is, so what have you got? Have you got a septic tank? Have you got a cesspool, a sewage treatment plant? Whatever you've got, you'd write down there, okay? There's a blank space there, so you'd write that down. Question number two, where is your septic tank or whatever sewage system you've got located? So where is your septic tank located? Now, is it in your front garden? Is it in your back garden? Is it in your side garden? Is it in your neighbor's garden? Now that, if it's in your neighbor's garden, that presents a whole new load of problems, right? But the point is, this is why they're asking the questions. Is it in a field somewhere? That poses another set of problems and questions, right? Question number three. So whatever the answer was, just write it down there in the blank. Question number three. Your sewage system has a capacity of what? So how big's your, your septic tank or, or cesspool? Is it 1,000 litres, 1,000 gallons, 10,000 litres, 5,000 litres? Whatever it is, if you don't know, just go and have a look at your septic tank emptying receipts. They'll tell you. All right, so question number four. The sewage system that you've got is constructed out of what? What's it made from? Is it made from fiberglass, from plastic, from concrete, from breeze box? What is it? Write it down there. But you get the point here, don't you? Now, if you've done all this, right, before they come round, and you've filled in the questionnaire, you put one in your utility room, you've handed one with your solicitor, when they knock at your door, you can just go and get this form that Jason gave you, right, from septictank.co.uk. You can just hand it to them. They'll look at it. and they go, oh, blind me. Okay. Okay. He's got that. He's got this. And they'll think, wow, responsible septic tank owner. They'll then tick that off and tick that off. Then they'll say, thank you very much. They'll then go on to your neighbor. But the point is, you've headed them off at the pass. It shows you know what your system's like. And so it's 
the chances are, 99.9% .9 of the chance chances are you'll now go to the bottom of the list because you're a responsible septic tank owner. They're looking for irresponsible septic tank owners. Okay, so how can you get your free government compliance form? All you need to do is click the link below this video. Click the link below this video and get your free